In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 24, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Tampa Bay Rays vs. Detroit Tigers On Tuesday night, the Tampa Bay Rays will face off against the Detroit Tigers in the opening matchup of a three-game series at Comerica Park. This highly anticipated contest is set to kick off a crucial stretch of games for both teams, with Detroit eyeing a potential playoff berth and Tampa Bay looking to finish the season strong. As the series gets underway, the Tigers are coming off a successful run of games, while the Rays, though out of postseason contention, remain eager to play spoiler and make an impact on their opponent's playoff hopes. The Detroit Tigers have been on fire, winning 11 of their last 14 games, which has catapulted them into the thick of the American League wild card race. Heading into Monday's off day, they had surged past the Minnesota Twins, taking a narrow half-game lead over them for the final American League wildcard spot. Tuesday's game will see Tarek Skubal make his 31st start of the season. Skubal has been nothing short of outstanding all year long, and in his most recent outing, he allowed just one run on three hits and a walk, striking out seven batters over five innings to secure a win against the Kansas City Royals. Although Skewel was pushed back a day due to a minor injury to his non-throwing hand, he showed no signs of struggle, looking dominant against Kansas City. While the Rays may not be in the playoff picture, I anticipate Skewel to put on another stellar performance, given his recent form and the high stakes for Detroit. The Tampa Bay Rays have historically struggled against Skubal, and they haven't exactly been lighting up the scoreboard this month. In fact, Tampa ranks 23rd in weighted on base average and 17th in weighted runs created plus, with a concerning 26.3% strikeout rate, placing them 26th in that category. Skubal, who has been dominant at home this year, holding opposing hitters to a .176 batting average, is primed to rack up strikeouts and keep Tampa Bay's offense at bay. Once Skubal exits, the Tigers' bullpen, which leads the league with a 2.16 earned run average and ranks second in WHIP over the last 30 days, will likely maintain the pressure. On the other side, while Ryan Pepiot has had his moments for the Rays, it will be a tall order for him to match Skubal's level of performance in a game that holds significant importance for the Tigers. Detroit's offense has also been performing well, ranking in the top 10 in WOB and WRC Plus over the past month. For this reason, the Detroit Tigers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. When the Rays play as road underdogs, the under has hit frequently with a record of 33-20. Additionally, the under has cashed in 63 of their 110 league games this season, or 59.4% of the time. Tampa Bay's offense has been sluggish, averaging just 3.09 runs per game in September and 3.55 runs per game since the All-Star break. Their struggles against Skubal are well documented, with Rays hitters combining for a dismal .125 batting average, .160 on base percentage, .125 slugging percentage, and .285 OPS in 24 total at bats against him. It's hard to imagine Tampa Bay's lineup will suddenly turn things around, especially with Detroit fighting to hold onto a playoff spot and playing at home during the final week of the regular season. Ryan Pepiot has been a bright spot for Tampa Bay, particularly in the second half of the season. He has allowed two or fewer earned runs in 11 of his last 12 appearances, posting a 2.94 earned run average since the All-Star break. After an impressive 12 strikeout outing against the Boston Red Sox, Pepiot will be highly motivated to rise to the challenge of matching Skubal in what promises to be a pitcher's duel. On top of that, Tampa Bay's bullpen has been stellar in the second half, ranking second in the league with a 2.77 earned run average and a 1.05 WHIP on Sunday. The Rays clawed their way back to the .500 mark, capping off a three-game sweep of the Toronto Blue Jays with a 4-3 victory, thanks in part to Jonathan Aranda's home run in his third third consecutive game. While Tampa Bay has won four straight games, they are too far out of postseason contention to make a serious run. With two top-tier pitchers on the mound, expect a low-scoring affair. Under the projected total is our full-game total pick. 
Cincinnati Reds vs. Cleveland Guardians. A quick two-game series kicks off on Tuesday as the Cincinnati Reds face off against the Cleveland Guardians. Both teams come into this matchup following a day of rest on Monday. The Reds enter the series after winning two of three games at home against the Pittsburgh Pirates, while the Guardians are coming off a disappointing series in St. Louis where they drop two out of three to the Cardinals. These two teams previously met in June for a brief two-game set in Cincinnati where they split the games evenly. The Reds have had the upper hand in their recent meetings with the Guardians, winning five of the last eight matchups, including three of four at Cleveland's progressive field. Cincinnati's pitchers have been particularly effective on the road, boasting the seventh-best road-earned run average in the majors at 3.71. They also secured a victory in their most recent road series against the playoff contending Minnesota Twins. On the other hand, the Guardians have struggled offensively at home, batting just .234 with a slugging percentage of .386 over their last 10 games. Cleveland has failed to score more than three runs in any of their last five games at Progressive Field. From a betting perspective, Cincinnati has been a strong option against the spread this season, covering 55.2% of the time, especially when facing opponents with sub-.500 records. It's worth noting that Guardians pitcher Tanner Bibby took a loss earlier this season against the Reds, allowing four earned runs on five hits. Betters have two key reasons to favor Cincinnati in this matchup. First, the Guardians have already clinched the American League Central Division with only five games remaining, meaning wins are not crucial for them at this stage. Second, the Reds recently fired their manager, making this the first game under their interim manager, which could spark a short-term performance boost. Looking at Cleveland's side, they've secured their playoff position and are unlikely to catch the Yankees for the top spot in the American League. They also cannot be overtaken by the Astros for the second seed, so their postseason position is firmly locked in. Evidence of this was seen in Sunday's game, where key players Jose Ramirez and Josh Naylor went a combined 0 for 7, indicating a shift in focus with little at stake. Additionally, the Guardians are without their top leadoff hitter, Stephen Quinn, who is sidelined with an injury. As for Cincinnati, a managerial change often galvanizes a team, and with talented players like Ellie De La Cruz and Spencer Steer, they have the potential to perform well under new leadership. Their starting pitcher, Jakob Junis, is coming off a stellar performance, allowing just two hits over six innings in his last start against the Atlanta Braves. Given these factors, the Cincinnati Reds' money line is our full game side pick. Five of the last seven meetings between these teams have gone under the total runs line, with only 14 runs scored across their two-game series back in June. In addition, two of the last three games played at Progressive Field between these teams also stayed under the total. The Guardians' pitching staff has been among the best in the league in 2024, ranking fifth in earned run average at 3.67. The Reds' pitching has also been strong on the road, placing in the top 10 in the league for earned run average. Given both teams' struggles at the plate and their below-average offensive rankings, it's unlikely that either side will generate a flurry of runs. Cleveland has consistently played low-scoring games at home, with seven of their last eight going under the total. Since clinching their division, Cleveland has played just one game, and it was a lackluster offensive performance in which they managed only one run via a sacrifice bunt and recorded just two hits. Even if their star players are on the field, the Guardians appear to be coasting through the final stretch of the season. Key hitters like Ramirez, Naylor, and Quinn have carried the team all year, but with Quinn out and the other two going 0 for 7 in their last game, there's no extra incentive for aggressive offensive play. In fact, we may see some of their top players sit out, as there are no individual awards or records on the line. On the Cincinnati side, Jakob Junis pitched excellently in his last start and should be able to continue that success against an unmotivated Cleveland lineup. Cleveland is starting Bibby, their most consistent pitcher, who has racked up 180 strikeouts this season and should keep the Reds' offense in check. Given Cleveland's tendency to play low-scoring games, they've gone under in nine of their last 11 contests. Under the projected total is our full-game total pick. Boston Red Sox vs. Toronto Blue Jays The Boston Red Sox and Toronto Blue Jays will continue their three-game series in Toronto on Tuesday night. Both teams have seen their playoff hopes all but evaporate this season, with the Red Sox barely clinging to slim wildcard aspirations and the Blue Jays entrenched in last place in the highly competitive American League East division. As this season nears its end, both teams will be eyeing significant changes during the offseason as they seek to rise to the top of one of baseball's toughest divisions. In their head-to-head -head matchup, 
playoffs this season. The Red Sox hold a slight edge with a 6-4 record against the Blue Jays, and they will be looking to build on that success in this game. The gap between the starting pitchers is relatively narrow when comparing their road and home performances. Boston's Brian Bellow holds a solid 8-4 record, hosting a 4.19 earned run average and 1.29 WHIP across 81.2 innings and 15 road starts. On the other hand, Toronto's Bowden Francis has gone 3-1 with a 3.8 earned run average and has held opposing batters to a .201 average over 42.2 innings in 14 games, including eight home starts. Since the All-Star break, the Red Sox rank sixth in Major League Baseball with a team OPS of .748, while the Blue Jays sit 11 with a .733 OPS, indicating the Red Sox have maintained a slight offensive edge during the second half of the season. Heading into this final stretch, the Red Sox appear to have the upper hand, having won six of the ten meetings against the Blue Jays this season. Boston is also playing slightly better baseball than Toronto as both teams approach the final week of the season. Despite the absence of star player Rafael Devers, the Red Sox are fielding a healthier lineup compared to the injury-depleted Blue Jays. Boston has managed to win three of Brian Bellow's last five starts, while Toronto has lost three of Bowden Francis' last five outings, despite his strong performances. While neither team enters this series with significant momentum, the Blue Jays are already guaranteed a last-place finish in the Al East, while the Red Sox still have a chance to close out the season with a winning record. Bowden Francis has pitched well in his recent starts, but his efforts have not translated into victories for the Blue Jays. Brian Bellow has been inconsistent, making it difficult to fully back him with confidence. However, the Red Sox have put together a solid stretch of play, keeping their faint wild card hopes alive, while the Blue Jays have essentially checked out over the past month or two. With the Red Sox still playing hard and the potential value of their money line, betting on Boston to win this game presents one of the better value plays on Tuesday's MLB slate. Therefore, the Boston Red Sox money line is our full game side pick. Neither team will have a full strength offense heading into Tuesday night's game. The Blue Jays are missing several key players, including center fielder Dalton Varsho and shortstop Dante Bichette, while the Red Sox will be without their top hitter, Rafael Devers. The recent trends also favor the under, as the Blue Jays have gone under the total in each of Bowden Francis' last five starts, and the Red Sox have done the same in four of Brian Bellow's last five outings. Both pitchers have plenty of motivation to end the season on a high note. Bellow is looking to add to his career high in wins, while Francis is aiming to secure a spot in Toronto's starting rotation for next season. Both starting pitchers have shown the ability to dominate during the month of September. Brian Bellow has gone 2-2 with a respectable 3.38 earned run average and a .255 batting average against in 21.1 innings across four starts. Meanwhile, Bowden Francis, despite his winless record, has been even more impressive, posting a 2.7 earned run average and an outstanding 0.7 WHIP in 20 innings over three starts. Offensively, these teams have combined for 82 runs across their 10 matchups this season, averaging 8.2 runs per game. However, after combining for just five total runs in Monday's game, betting on the under for the projected total seems like the safest choice. Thus, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.